Greetings and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Gamers Den, the show where you, the viewer, come to me the host, Candace Lupus, for all the various walkthroughs and playthroughs, but you stay for the pop culture and knowledge of the rent. Now, one quick thing before I get into history, I'm being appreciated. Uh, we did get some new headphones, guys. We're going to work on them and work through them and everything. we got to figure and out how to get the audio in. Right. We're going to, Leo here is going to actually going to be, uh, how about your show? We both got the same pair. See? Same pairs. Now, his actually has, he put his stickers on. The fool. Let's see. These are um, Black Shark Razor. Right. So, B2, it, uh, looks like version 2X. Okay, so, and we did, it's like the cheapest thing that we found at uh, uh, Best Buy. Best Buy. Again, and everything. But we might figured be a it cheap, might. But they should, with these. Right. We should be able to get a little better audio quality. We're going to try and figure things out and over the next week, maybe two, and I think, and we'll, by, by December, week. at the very least, we'll have some better audio quality. It's a, it's a patch thing on here, I know, guys, but... Honestly, though, again, I think if we have to, we can use OBS to do the recording, and we should be able to get our audio in there better. Right. Because we tried plugging this directly into the camera, and, well, it's not, it didn't pick up the audio like yeah. we thought it would. Yeah, it's not doing... We were hoping we could he, that CL here would be able to use them for these particular videos so everybody would be able to hear them better. But, don't worry, we are working on that. We're getting... Once we again, you know, maybe this double. Did it look, may be this double plug-in thing that's keeping us from being able to use the camcorder for it. Right, but there is a slight plus to all this. We're going to be getting um, once tax season rolls around once again, guys, we'll be getting a new some new mics and a new camera set up, so we'll be able to improve that. But, but well, heck, we'll, if these we'll work well these. enough for our audio quality, we may not have to worry about spending that. I would still prefer to have that. These are good for game stuff. Well, or, yeah, I'm or like on these things, I'd rather. But as far as game stuff, I would prefer to have that. I mean, either way, we're going to have to probably be recording separate audio. Right. But we'll figure all that out at some point. I've we'll already stated earlier. We'll get it figured out. And but... we'll get a better setup. We'll figure all this out. There's tons of tutorials about this crap now on YouTube and on the web. We'll figure this out. However... You're here for history. I'm there underappreciated. You're not here for our for our announcement crap today, or our ramblings, or our ramblings. Right. Exactly. Well, you tend to do that sometimes, anyways. Well, history of the underappreciated. The show where you, the part of the show where we look back on characters that might be a little <laughs> underappreciated. Thus the name. Um. These next four from 46 to 49 are going to be from the same movie franchise. And after all are done, we'll look at the actual movies. They'll be in a, a big... We'll actually be looking at the entire franchise, actually. Prep and Landing. A Christmas-themed Disney franchise that seems to have three things. All of them are Disney Plus, so go watch them. They are good. Um, however, we're going to be looking at the four main characters and... To, we're gonna start with the main lead of the entire of the entire franchise. Wayne, call sign little drummer boy. They all have little call signs. They're basically I should I'll explain more about Prepper Landing when I actually look at the movie. So, but Wayne starts every story off kind of selfish and kind of learns a lesson by the end of it. Obviously, it's one of those. The Christmas stuff, you know, got to learn a lesson here and there. Wayne has been working with Prepper and Landing, uh, a division of elves that help the big guy, you know, Santa Claus, land on every roof, right? And he's been doing it for years. First movie, he gets overlooked by his partner, and his, and he was his mentor to this kid. He was basically his subordinate, and then he got uh, over overlooked from uh, his brother, of all things, as well, it's just like, it's a whole thing, and it happens, it's stuff happens, you know, to the best of us, and I think they do a really good job portraying this whole film. Um, 
the character is a good friend and he's a good brother. And honestly, another character that I'll be looking at in the third one, I'll check with her in a minute later on. I will. But seems to be a little bit of a love interest thing going on here. I'm seeing it. But um, since this is Christmas themed, you know, I know it's the middle of November, guys. But there's a reason we're looking at this. Well, for one thing, it's a great it's a great movie franchise. And two, the reason we're we're looking at Wayne and uh, Lonnie McGee and the the brother character that his name eludes me is one specific reason. These last four, we're not going to do a traditional 50th character. We're not going to be doing a, a traditional character like that. We're not going to be looking at Santa Claus. We're not going to be looking at some char another character from the movie. No. See, this last character, it's a little bit of a surprise. Even to me, at this point. We're still planning it. But I wanted to do something special for the 50th character. But... Back to Wayne, I know he he's about yay big, I'd say about a foot, maybe two feet. Um, he's not very big. Kind of portly, a little bit. Um, has some sideburn, a little bit of side sideburns here. Um, he's got some really awesome gear. They do they do a really good job fleshing out this world with um, prep and landing. Um. And I will admit, the character is, um, he's something. He's something. Um, we will be watching those movies later on. It's November, not December. Wish the, um, stores would get that memo. Tell them what we found at, best, at, at Target, Leo. All Man. Black Friday and Christmas stuff. No Thanksgiving. No fall. Nope. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. Our local Target was packed to the brim with Black Friday shoppers. I can I have a direct line to my calendar. It is November 6th. Last I checked is the last Friday of November. That's Black Friday. Last year it went into Thanksgiving. You see the problem here? They went from kind of going into Thanksgiving a little bit, you know me. Just, just you know what, you know what, screw it. We'll go, we'll do Black Friday all month, guys. I saw Christmas stuff in October. What, uh, what, what is wrong with y'all? I don't understand that. And honestly, it kind of goes with this with Purple Landing a little bit too. They actually acknowledge that it's kind of it gets earlier, at least once in one of the films, I think really weird when I was a kid this did not happen not very not very much the Halloween stuff will be phasing out the couple days before Halloween just because a lot of stuff got bought and then Christmas stuff will start rolling in right mm -hmm. Black Friday would not happen until Black Friday what is going on here people being crazy no. Incorrect. But close. People, you are being stupid. More specifically, I mean, what's store the guys. Crazy, stupid, what's the difference? We're crazy. We're not stupid. <laughs> That's the difference. Sometimes I wonder about that. <laughs> Look in the mirror next time and you'll, and you'll see the exact same amount of intelligence. But... All that ripping aside, you know, honestly, you actually see a bit of that dynamic between me, me and Leo here with Lonnie, uh, well, in the second, more in the second movie. Lonnie is the optimistic, kind of hyperactive guy. Really? Don't to give me with that? You've done it so many times. I honestly thought you'd me. jump on that. It didn't phase me at all. <laughs> I haven't done it that many times. <laughs> and it's been a while, but, you know, kind of figured you are going to do something. Alright, then. But... Wayne is kind of, he's, the Christmas stuff has been kind of lackluster. Why are you doing that now? Eh, I couldn't crank it up loud enough to actually do but, anything. Yeah, he's, 
you know, he's definitely different. He's definitely a different character. But, you know, definitely a, diff- uh, a good kind of different for, for the Christmas protagonist. He's a character that the, the meaning of Christmas is kind of lost on him at this point. You know, and I, what, who has it? Lost that little touch of spirit, of Christmas spirit, at least once in a lifetime. I've been disillusioned once or twice. You know? But I try to hold on to that spirit now. As much as I can, you know? And on that note, um, yeah, with, that being, like they heard it. with that being said, guys, we'll be looking at all four main characters. And after the 49th one, we're going to be taking a little hiatus. The 50th character will be someone special. It's going to be a, ca- a character that's too underappreciated, mind you. Probably pretty well known. A lot of you may know this character. But we wanted to make the 50th character special. Hell, Leo's even going to be in the intro. I know he's sort of in the intro this time, but... But... He's in, but we want to do something special for... Let's face it, guys. History of the Underappreciated has been going on for almost 50 episodes. 50 weeks, almost. Guys, thank you all for supporting this channel. And continuing to showcase your love for this channel. We cannot thank you enough. Um, hopefully you liked this video. If you did... Leave a like, hit that like button and the subscription button, of course. Ring the bell for notifications. It does help. Share this video with everyone you know and everyone you love. And go down in the comment section down below. Did you watch Pepper Landing? Do you remember this character? Let us know. And like I said, guys, the next three after this one will be the other main cast members of Pepper Landing. While the 50th will not be seen until next year. We're going to do, be doing a little prep work. I'm going to be doing... we got to figure out which character we're going to do first. Probably going to be a video game character. I don't know which one yet, but we're going to do a video game character. Um, and we're going to, you know... I'm going to write down what we need for this character and everything. And hopefully soon, guys, we'll be moved out. So, stay tuned for all new updates and everything else. One can hope. And everything. Oh, no, we, we're guaranteed this place. We just don't know when the lease is going to come up. Ah. See, we will be moved out. If it's not in January, it'll be February at the latest. The first of the year, guys. So, for all of you out there who supported us since the beginning and kept watching, kept keeping an eye on everything, it's almost here. It's almost here. We're almost a little bit, around. just a little bit longer, and you will have a brand new setup come tax season. You will have better quality, better audio, hopefully. Well, we'll at least have some more improved audio, hopefully, by the end of the month. Right, but by the, by the time my birthday runs around, comes around again in May, guys, we will most likely have everything y'all will need that y'all been screaming at us in the comments, comments lately. About and guys, I I know our video quality sucks, our audio quality sucks, but I've got a rinky dink sixty dollar, the, the the cheapest camcorder I could get a hold of. <laughs> so we're gonna get some better stuff. Don't worry. With that being said, I've been your host, Cans Lupus. Y'all been awesome, awesome people, and and thank you again for looking back on the gamers and history of the underappreciated. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.